my, my baseball career, the history of my baseball career started when I was, uh, you know, just like most players, seven, eight, nine years old. I played Little League like, uh, like most players did. Um, I played high school baseball and I realized uh, at a very young age that I had a talent. I, could, I, had a, I had a very strong arm, I could throw the ball hard, I had good command. Um, and then in high school I started to attract professional scouts. And right after high school, I was fortunate enough to have the opportunity to sign a professional contract with the Red Sox. And then in 1992, at the age of 23, um, I made my Major League debut. And um, I ended up spending pots of eight seasons in the big leagues. Um, some, some years were, were very, very good. Some years were, were not so good. What inspired me to coach after my Major League Baseball career was, um, after my career ended in 2000, um, I kind of got away from the game. I wanted to give myself a break. I was kind of burnt out, played 15 years professionally, uh, but I, I realized very soon that uh, I was getting approached by parents, by, um, by families to help work with their kid on pitching or hitting, and I realized it was something that I, I loved to do. I felt I was really good at it, and I thought that that might be something that I, I might be able to do for a living, is maybe open up a baseball school and, and start working with kids. So in 2004, uh, I went ahead and, and, and gave it a shot. I've been doing it ever since. Working at CARE, I've been here for over 10 years now, it's been great. Um, I work with kids all the way from ages from as young as five years old all the way up to 16, 17 years old. And they each have their own set of challenges, but each of them have been great. Um, definitely with the five-year-olds, you're gonna be a little bit more laid back and easy going with the kids and you get a little bit more intense with the 16 and 17 year olds, but um, definitely been great and um, can't ask for anything more. The most important part of coaching or instruction is patience. And is to is to watch a player and try to find what you can do to, to help improve their weaknesses. Everyone has weaknesses. Everyone has strengths. Um, but I think you've got to be able to do it in a way that um, makes them feel uh, motivated to want to become a better ball player. There's different things you can say, words you can say, visuals you can give them that that I think can motivate a, a young player to become a better ball player.